Hey folks, well, this is my take on the question of why folks trained in the sciences tend to believe that we are conscious but do not have free will, while those not trained in the sciences tend to believe that we're conscious but do have free will. If there is any kind of knowledge that is a priori, to me, it's that I am conscious. I am aware that I am aware. That is what I am most certain of. I am less certain that there is an external reality outside of my awareness. It could just be my awareness. And I am not certain if all the other images that appear to be human beings like me are also conscious. But it seems to me that since those images, those sense impressions, have a great deal of similarity to me, that this would be the most parsimonious solution. That solution would be that others that seem like me Human beings and animals, to various degrees, are also self-aware, are also conscious. Now, science has no notion of how it is possible for consciousness to be. But the generally accepted notion is that it's an epiphenomena, an emergent phenomena. An example of this is cellular automata, for instance, the game of life, in which some very simple rules on a two-dimensional grid create some very complex patterns. A more interesting example is that of an ant colony. And this is in Douglas Hofstetter's book, Goodell Escher Bach, The Eternal Golden Braid in which each individual ant appears to be m completely mindless. In fact, a particle of food is surrounded by a number of ants, and they're all pulling in different directions. And yet, the food gets to the right place. The ant colony can defend itself. It builds structures. It is engaged in caring for its young. Um, a very, very elaborate and seemingly intelligent process is occurring from all these individual ants with a very limited set of instructions. That's the notion of an emergent phenomena. So scientists believe that somehow consciousness will emerge from the material world. Which gets me to another point. The idea that we have this material world. While this is generally being accepted, usually throughout history there's been a binary. There is the material world, which is the natural world, and there is the other. The other is the unnatural, the supernatural, the spirit world, where often we imbued, whatever that word is, consciousness into that spiritual world, such as the wind. We thought the wind was aware that it was a spirit, that it had intent and purpose. And the scientific worldview has moved away from dualism, to a unitary way of looking at the world. Essentially, the dogma is everything is material. Everything derives from the material. Now, you can think of this as matter and energy, time and space, or these may not be the most fundamental notions. There may be things beneath this, twister networks, there may be quantized space-time from which these derive, strings, membranes, whatever. But the point is, it's a material world, and what science does, it figures out how it works, and it works by certain rules. Now on to free will. The problem with free will, for someone that's trained in the sciences, is that it's not just we don't understand how free will could come about. I completely, completely, well, I really did 
understate the problem. The problem is that whether the world is deterministic or probabilistic doesn't matter, or some combination in between. The material world operates by specific rules. And in that worldview of modern day science, there is no room for free will. It isn't that we don't understand how it could be, although some scientists have tried to explain how it could be that we do have free will. It is that free will is forbidden. Just as the probability density for an electron, the solutions for where we may find an electron if we look around an atom, has various solutions. Some of those solutions are exactly zero. There is no chance of finding an electron there. And in the scientific worldview, in this unitary worldview, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> in this unitary worldview, there is no room for free will because we are in a jail. Because modern science looks at only the material world, free will cannot be allowed. It cannot exist because the rules do not allow it. It is a violation. We are in prison and it is against the law to break out of that prison. So for folks trained in the sciences, free will is not allowed. It is not part of that worldview. Well, that's my spin on things. Take care.